there's state testing that happens every year and there's a big divide between kids who come from families who have education mm -hmm. and affluence and the way to test that is usually like did the parents graduate from college versus kids who whose parents did not go to college there's like a steep drop in, in test scores and that gap is typically often called referred to as the achievement gap and uh, Mountain View Wisman School District which again is a great school district actually has one of the biggest achievement gaps in the country right. as defined by Stanford University but it was quite controversy because he controversial because he basically mapped all the school districts around the country like 90% of them are and uh, Mountain View Wisman was among the top 20. I, they, I think they were the only school district in the peninsula and then maybe there was one out in Oakland um, and then there's a marker it's a subgroup in education it's called um, low SES which means socioeconomic status or sometimes you hear it called SED which means socioeconomically disadvantaged so those th that's the demographic that Bullis Mountain View really wanted to serve um, and what uh, I think will separate Bullis Mountain View from other schools in Mountain View Westman School District is we we're gonna have what's called an early learners program where um, because we're a charter school we can do things that a traditional school district can't do for example September 2nd is the usual cutoff. If you're five by September 2nd, you can begin kindergarten. And a lot of these low-income families are very eager to get their students into kindergarten um, because they don't have to pay for childcare at that point. The way some of these kids and families have immigrated here is, is a, it's like hair-raising, right? Some of the things and ordeals they've gone through to get here. They've done that because they have hope for their their kids you know they're they're why would any like rational adult you know when I look at my parents you know they they weren't very educated they didn't speak English they had hardly any money why would you subject yourself away from your family and friends into a new society and um, new sort of like world order if it wasn't because you thought there was a, the promise of something better for your family down the road and usually that's some promise for the for the kid and so I look at these kids and I realize that um, they need that helping hand if they're really ever going to bring that, their Definitely. family out of poverty.